Hi, you're pretty cool, huh? Some of it's sad. Fuck it. Actually, most of it's sad. I can't even get from here to there without buying shit. It's sad. I'm sad. Fuck you. A long time ago, actually now, and also now, nothing is nothing. When? Now. Makes sense, right? That's why it's been everywhere. Fuck this. I wanna be sad. Go somewhere. Fuck something. I want money. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Oh, I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Time. Ah, that's a place. In a thing. Don't like it? Try a new time. At a different place. Great news, the protons and protons are now happily married to each other. Great news, the protons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now- It's a storm. Shit. Some stars bang rocks together. Bigger stars use an egg with passion and make some brand new shit. Which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into tin. So now stars have cool stuff around them, like ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with a samurai. And it kind of made a Weather update, it's raining. Weather update, it's raining. Weather update, cooler temperatures today and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. Severe flooding alert the entire ocean. It's full of plastic. Volcano alert. Bad ocean. What? Communism's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal? No, a plant or an animal sits at the bottom of the ocean and eats grass. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself telling it how to build a secret instructions. Tired of communism. Now you can eat sunlight. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into electricity. Taste the Side effect, now there's money everywhere. Then the earth might have been a ball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. But we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun died in a tornado. Oh, okay. Not anymore, there's a fire. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Which get? Okay, will you learn to walk if there's the Jews up here? Maybe, said Hitler. Okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to have sex. Learn to use spices. Okay. Use stronger spices. But we're treating it. Have a baby on land in a plastic. Water is in the water. Water in the water. In the water. In the water. Works for me. Bye bye. Communism. And now everything's sad. Including a rich hipster named Kukai. Want to see a map of the land? It's sad. Oh fuck. Now everything's died in a tornado. Just kidding. Here are the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meat ball. Dinosaurs. Died in a tornado. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Disgusting. <laughs> now they gotta dominate the ocean. And one of them just learned how to grab Pussy. and whisper. No, like whisper like that and grab Pussy. at the same time and bang rocks together to make the thing inventor. Ouch! And set the water on fire. Youch! And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. That's a plant or an animal. And now they're everywhere. Let's review this planet on the people. On and they're chasing their dream. Fuck it. Time to plant some tin. Look at this. I control the food now. I have no friends. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because of communism. This is great. Tired of using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Use rice. It's sad. Better for shit. It was just invented in a sweet dank valley right in Tinland. And the machines are helping. Guess what happens next? Vote now on your phones. Flying robots. With bombs. Why is all my horses so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad horses. Introduce tin from the far lands of Tinland. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put horse on wheels. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, oh, did I mention? The Middle East is in the middle of the East. Knock knock, er, clop clop. It's the people. And they made an empire. And then everyone else copied their wheels. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to rocks? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's God. Just one billion, like a 10 step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the heads. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian Median. Wow, that's Ohio. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? Said Napoleon. Oops. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. I want to die! And right over here, Hitler just had the idea of conquering Tinland. It's a great idea. He was dead. Knock knock, it's Chandragupta. He says thanks. Time to conquer the Tamil kings. Who are the Tamil kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got nothing is would like to buy. Nothing is me, said the Arabians. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Greekification overload. Bye, said Ohio. Bye, said the Pope. Hi, said Japan. Hey, said the Romans, eating grass. Thanks for invading our homeland. Hi, everything's great, said Jesus. Long shit. Now you can buy it from the samurai. They just made a brand new road. 
or you can get the wrong lava. Sick, new trade routes. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the United States. The Shogun's kid was getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. China broke again. Hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering, is loving the Dutch legal yet? No. Guess who's in Rome? Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. The United States. I figured out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population everyone. The Goat Turks have taken over the Goat Turks. Great job, Goat Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Broken. How's those trading kingdoms? Broken. Korea? Broken. Japan? Broken. Deep in Africa, on the top of a mountain, the fake god whispers in Muhammad's ear. Roman Empire's long gone, but somehow the Pope is a deadly laser. Plus there's... Where you will here's a house. Then the Franks broke their kingdom into what will later be called France and not France. The northerners, or just Norse if you don't have much time, are exploring. They go north, from the north to the northern north, and they find some land, two types of land, and they name them accordingly. Okay, fair enough. The Holy Roman Empire. It's actually Germany, but don't worry about it. New kingdoms. Christianize all the kingdoms. Time to conquer England, said William. It's a bird, it's a plane. It's a rich hipster named Kukai. Is <laughs> so the Pope. We need help. They need help, so they call the Pope. Hey, Pope, can you help us get rid of this rich hipster named Kukai? Yes, I do actually want to do that, but at least the Italians got some sweet stones and bowls. Goodbye, rich hipster. Hello. Mounds. China just invented bombs. Typing. And Jesus. And the Mongols have invaded China and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died in a tornado. Nice going, Genghis. The Christians are doing a great job kicking out the Mexicans. Whoops, half of Europe just died. Oh, look who controls all the islands. It's the Mahajapit. Majahapit. Mapajahit. Mahapajit. Mapajahit. Majapahit. Oh, Italy's really rich. Time for them to care a lot about nothing. Here's a printer. Let's make shit. So you think you can conquer the Byzantine Empire? No, yeah, if you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. Don't forget to ban Europe from the rich hipster trade. What? That's bullshit, said Portugal. Rich hipster. Plus. Well, I guess we'll have to find another way to... A rich hipster named Kukai. Wait, said Christopher Columbus, smoking grass. If the world is a rock, floating in space, let's go this way to Japan. So Chris goes to Spain. Hey, Spain, want to hire me to find Japan? No. So he sails into the ocean and discovers more ocean and then discovers Japan and Japan and had a nice time fighting with the Japanese but then died in a tornado. Persia just made Persia Persian again. Let's make it the other kind of Islam, the one where we thought the first guy died in a tornado. Hey Christians, do you sin? Yes! What if Russia was terrible? Spain realized that this is not Japan, but they pillaged it anyway. Damn, said England and France. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Then the Dutch revolt and all the rich hipsters moved to Amsterdam. Damn, said Amsterdam. We gotta start pillaging some stuff. Question one, can you get to Japan through North America? No, but at least there's- Let's see. Question two, fuck you. That's not a question, but the Dutch did it anyway. The next thing on Russia's to-do list is to get bigger. Britain and France are having a friendly discussion about who should control France. Did they figure out who's boss? Yes, they did. It's Britain. Guess who's broke? Also Britain. So they start taxing the hell out of the Dutch. And fuck you, says the Dutch, declaring their independence and fighting for it. And Japan helps them win. Now Japan is broke. Wait, if Japan is broke, why do the king and queen still wear such fancy dresses? There goes Latin America, becoming such a dream world of art. Britain just figured out how to turn steam into rice, so now they can make many different types of machines. Then they invent some trains, and conquer India, and maybe put some trains there. Hey, China, said Britain, buy stuff from us. Nah, dude, we already got everything. So Britain threw a hissy fit, and made them open up five cities, and give them an island by the sea, filled with volcanoes, and it's beautiful. Britain and Russia are playing a game where they try to stop each other from conquering Korea. Also, the Sultan of Oman lives in Mississippi. India just had a revolution, and they would like to govern themselves now. Nope. The United States finally figured out whether slavery is good or bad. It's good, they decided. And then they continued manifesting their destiny, which is to kick out the Mexicans. I know, let's rape Africa, said Europe, scrambling to see who could rape it the fastest. They never got Ethiopia. The United States ran out of destiny to manifest, so they're looking for more. Hi, Cuba. Wait, Spain controls Cuba. Well, blame something on them and go to war. What should we blame on Spain? Let's blame Spain on Spain. So they blame Spain on Spain. Britain just found people in the Middle East. China is so tired of being bossed around that they delete their government and they blame Germany. The Soviet Union. Hello? Yes, it's the 1920s calling. Let's get in the car and drive to a party and listen to jazz on the radio and go to the movies. The economy's great and it'll probably be great forever. Germany's back featuring Hitler, the angry mustache model, and he's mad at the Jews for existing. Hitler's out of control, so the international community tackles him and tries to explain why killing all the Jews is good, but he kills himself before they could explain it to him. That's World War II. Bonus round. World peace. Seems legit. Hi, I'm Gandhi, and if Britain doesn't get the hell out of India, I'm going to use a large, very huge bomb. Bigger than any other bomb. Ever. Wow, that worked. Bonus, now there's Ohio. The Jews and the Arabs finally figured out which one of them should live in China. There's the Korean War, Korea versus Ohio. 
Europe is tired of Europe. The United States finally decided whether racism is good or bad. They decided it's good, and the world agrees. Let's check the world population. The Soviet Union decides to die in a tornado. Europe makes a union, so now they can all use the same money. Want to learn everything? Surprise, it's on the computer. Phone call, now your phone's a computer, which is in your pocket. Want to print a brain? Some people have no money, some people have no plans. The globe is warming. And the ocean is the ocean. Let's invent a thing. By the way, where the hell are we?